Amazing. Thank you. Okay, and we're almost done with the level three hype train. Amazing. Thank you, Ken, for the bits. Thank you, Kit Kat, for the bits. How was my birthday week? Well, wouldn't you like to know? I love, I would love to tell you. Thank you. <laughs> Recently, I've gotten a lot of questions on how I make certain alerts for different types of bit donations, for various types of gifted sub donations. It's actually one of the easiest tutorials that I'm going to show you with Mix It Up. If you're not familiar with Mix It Up and you don't know what it is, it is a bot service that you can use for your streams for both Twitch and YouTube. I swear by it. It's amazing. You can do so much with it. And if you don't know about it at all, then you can check out my intro tutorial over here, okay? In the beginning of this tutorial video, I showed you some clips from my stream, some alerts that I have when people donate bits. Fun alerts like this are a really good way to get people to donate and a good way to uh, get some money if people want to spend money on you. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's start. You're going to open up, mix it up. You're going to click on the hamburger and all you're going to do, let's start with the Twitch bit alerts. You're just going to go to Twitch bits right here. Again, super simple. Here are all my bit alerts. Okay. My followers love to use these alerts literally just randomly in the middle of stream. So here is one example. This is my redeem called rocks. <laughs> I'm going to show you what that looks like here whenever people give 410 bits. Rocks! 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 I also have for 701 bits because that's Canada Day. I have um, O Canada where it literally just plays the entire Canadian national anthem. So I'm not going to play that one right now. It makes me have to go into my chat screen and immediately salute. And then I've got like a few quickie ones. For instance, I have one that ranges from a hundred. If you give 100 to about 200 bits, it'll do this one. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. So that's my husband's face. Again, you're going to go into Twitch bits and then you're just going to click add a command. So then it's going to show a range. You're going to put the amount of bits. You need to constantly check in and see that none of these are overlapping. Like the range. There's a reason why I did a range of 100 to 199 because I believe I do have an alert for 200 bits somewhere. So you just have to keep an eye out for that. So you're just going to put in like... I don't know, maybe if someone gives 10 bits, just make it like a really quick, simple alert for 10 bits to really encourage people to pull out all the stops. You can even go all the way up to 700 bits like I have for Canada Day. 700 bits is about $7. And yes, people actually redeem this all the time. <laughs> and then it's just like any other action setup that you do and mix it up. So for instance, let's go to the rocks section. So this is what it looks like in the back. These are all the actions that I've added. Again, I do have a quick tutorial on how to add actions and what that means in the initial mix it up setup vlog that I made. But first I had a sound. So this is the rocks sound. I found it online, downloaded it, added it. So here it is. Sometimes I'll clip it up with audacity if I feel like it's a little bit too long or I want it to be shortened. So I feel like I, I think I did that as well. So then this is where I added this first image, which is kitty. And then I have it wait for six seconds. I just kind of listen to the song and then see when an the next thing needs to be added, which is the rock. And then I wait for another five seconds. I have another overlay right here. And then it just keeps going from there. So that's basically what I do. And then I wait another two seconds and then I have all three of the kitties playing and going off right here. So so from the back end, you just kind of mess around with that. But that's generally speaking how I set that up. And that's it. I mean, if you want to make it a range, I would really only make it a range if it's for smaller bits, like maybe one bit to 10 bits is a certain alert. And then maybe 11 bits to like 30 bits is a certain alert. But you can toggle this if you want to do a number range. All three of these cats are at three different endpoints. So I will remind you how to do that really quickly. So instead of clicking the hamburger, you're going to go to settings right here, and then you're going to click on overlays. So these are all the overlays that I have. In other words, these are all of the endpoints that I have. So whenever you saw all three of those kitties popping up, one of them went to this endpoint, the other went to raid image one, and the other went to full screen. Okay, so you're going to create a new endpoint. So you're going to scroll all the way down, title it whatever you want, click add, and then it'll add an endpoint right here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to copy it. So here's where you copy the endpoint. We're going to do some 
streamception apologies you're going to go to sources in your streaming software and then you're just going to copy it as a browser source you're going to click the plus sign you're going to go to browser and then you're just going to label it whatever you want test then you're going to copy the link that you got from mix it up into this URL. And that's literally all that you do. From there, you can adjust the size, do whatever you need to do. So whenever you add an overlay and image from action, it's gonna give you an option overlay endpoint. And then you're going to select the endpoint that you created. And then that's where it's going to appear from your source on your streaming software. So then from there, it's just a matter of messing around with timing images that you want. So that's how it works for bits, super easy. For gifted subs, it's the exact same process, just in a different location. So you're gonna go back to the hamburger, you're going to click on events, and then you're going to click on Twitch. Here are all the events that you can edit in Twitch. Whenever somebody is gifted just one sub in my channel, this is the alert that goes off automatically. <laughs> So it's just a quick little thank you whenever somebody gifts a sub. And then I have an automatic message that goes off that said at dollar sign username, which is the special identifier and mix it up, has gifted a sub to a new goose. So that's for one gifted sub. And then all you have to do is just go over to mass subscription gifted. Anytime anyone gives more than one sub, this is what goes off on my stream. <laughs> So again, all you have to do is just navigate to mass subscriptions gifted in the event section. And then you just edit it like we did on all the other actions that we've edited before. If you do have mixed it up, I want to encourage you to use these features because this is an excellent way to get people to interact with your stream, give you money on your stream. So it's a really fun way to create some originality. Also, as a friendly reminder, I do offer brand consultations. You can check out my 30 minute long, hour long, month long brand consultations, or you can even purchase my quick Discord phone call if you just kind of want a quick brainstorm. However, my main consultations do come with a notion board. So here's an example of one of my consultation sessions. This is from an hour long consultation that one of my community members has signed up for. I made them an entire notion board, helped them rebrand their content so that they could gain more of a following so that they could get a more consistent schedule, literally just everything. So here is a quick run through of this board and I've gotten permission from them to do so. I gave them different Usernames that they might want to use that would be better for searchability and for more unique branding. I gave them a color palette. There's a mood board that I've created for them based on their personality, their brand, what I think would help them stand out. I gave them a list of sub perk ideas, community event ideas. I also do a deep dive into your branding no matter what social platform you're on. And I give you examples on what I think you could do to improve your branding so that you can get more visibility, more followers, more engagement. So for instance, here is a before and after here's before whenever I had this consultation whenever Bob came to me and then this is after whenever I rebranded for them helped them to really dive into their personality I also gave them really unique mix it up alerts tutorials things like that I absolutely love doing the brand consultations it's like one of my favorite parts of my job so if you also want a brand consultation I really want to encourage you to check those out I will also link it in the description so if this was helpful for you and you want to see more tutorials like this I do want to encourage you to subscribe to my channel it would be a huge help and and if you have any more questions or any other tutorials that you want to see, again, please drop a comment and I want to chat with you about it, okay? But I'll see you later. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye, everybody.